So if you own a drift car and you like saving money on tires, stay tuned because this mod might be helpful for you. So now that the E46 is making a decent amount of power, I figured I'm probably going to be going through tires like there is no tomorrow. Now it's no secret that heat is one of the main contributors to tire life. So you've probably seen your favorite drifters, your favorite YouTubers either talk about uh, like water pits at the track, or maybe you've seen people use these sprayers at the track just like this one. Or maybe you've seen people use tire sprayers over the rear tires so that they can hook it up to a windshield washer bottle. Now at the last drift event that I went to, I had one of these uh, these pumps slash garden sprayers type of deal. Now these garden sprayers are pretty good, honestly. After every session, I would spray this on the tires and then if I needed to, for because my car was overheating, I would spray the radiator and the intercooler. But the problem with that, as I mentioned, you have to go off track. So I want to try to be a little bit more proactive and I want to try to cool the tires um, possibly after every lap or if I really wanted to, I could do it even during the session, which I'm probably not gonna do it like that. But to be able to cool the tires between each lap, I think that should benefit quite a bit. I mean, many people do it. So I figured, why not give it a shot? So I found this universal windshield washer bottle um, off of Amazon. It has a pump already. So really you just need to mount this and then route some of this quarter inch ID um, line clear tubing whatever you want to call it and then you can hook it up to uh well it has a bunch of stuff in here like mounts a plug for wiring and a couple little things here in their hardware but the main thing is this little uh windshield washer uh spray nozzle so most people that do this setup do use the nozzle that comes with this kit but i'm going to be switching this out i'll show you why So it basically sprays a constant stream, which I'm not a fan of. So instead of these, I'm gonna switch it out with one of these guys. So this is a misting nozzle that comes with this, uh, these brass fittings and this plastic housing with push locks. Uh, so you could slide the same tubing inside them. And the reason I like this better is because the water that comes out of it is obviously, as the name implies, a mist. Uh, so it should allow for me to save a lot more water and kind of cover more surface of the tire without being wasteful. See what I mean? So I think my best bet is to mount it uh, somewhere right there. I'm probably going to take this piece right here and just 3M double-sided tape onto here. And then I'm going to probably drill a hole uh, somewhere in the like on top of the wheel well and I need to figure it out for this side too so I'll probably get under the car into the wheel well and figure out what the best location is so as you can see I have two bottles mounted should be good I'm gonna let that kind of settle for a little bit now the reason I have two is because one is going to be for the tires and I'm also going to wire up one uh, to spray my radiator, intercooler and oil cooler uh, kind of to help in case the car gets way too hot, which it really shouldn't, but I figured I might as well have this as an extra safety measure. So I think the way that I'm going to route the lines, I'm going to have it come up here and probably have like, or I'm probably going to drill a hole somewhere over there and then because of the way the push fittings are, I can run the same line, probably have it tuck under here so it's nice and hidden, and then have another hole somewhere here. Now the issue is, some cars it's pretty easy to tell where the tire well is, but from here, it doesn't really look like it goes to the spare tire well, because right here, it looks like that's where the, I guess the shield for the fill port is. So what I'm gonna do instead is, uh, I'm gonna probably drill right here because this looks more like, um, kind of, I guess, one layer to get to the tire well, and it's the same on the other side. So that's probably gonna be my safest bet. So 
so you can see there's one two three uh, four little groove lines this correlates to inside the car so I should theoretically just be able to drill right here and that should be where I need it to be send it though all right so it is in I have the line going over there and then you can see right there you can barely see it um, it goes into the fitting that's right there I have the other line going there and it goes like in between uh, on this uh, whatever the hell you call this it goes in between there's like a hollow spot in there and then comes out somewhere over there and then you can see the last part of it right there with a cap on the end. So hindsight is always 2020. I probably should have put those fittings closer to the outside so that it gets more towards the middle of the tire. I haven't confirmed where, where it's really spraying yet, but I have a feeling that it's probably gonna be closest to the inside, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? So let's move on. So I also got my emergency cooling system um, almost set up. I just gotta plug this in. This, uh, where'd it go? This line, I just gotta plug it in. And I also gotta make a new bracket for this because it did not stick. So I have it routed up there and it kind of tucks inside of the little cowling over here, just like the, the tire sprayers. And then you can see it right there. It's gonna come down, go alongside here. And then it goes through one of the nipples that sits right there. And then I have it tucking into here to come out through here. And then I'm gonna have two sprayers in the front, one for the oil cooler and one for the radiator. I decided not to do one for the intercooler just because with the water that's gonna be flowing through here, I figured um, some of the water that kind of drips down is probably gonna cool the intercooler as well. Um, the intercooler isn't as critical. I'm more worried about oil and water and power steering, which is down there, but I can't really do anything about. So now they're mounted up. All I did was drill some holes into the factory crash beam and zip tied it and it's good enough for me. So now that the lines are hooked up, all we gotta do is make a new bracket for my reservoirs and I gotta wire this thing up. up um, I have it grounded uh, right over here and then that's a little confusing I have all red wires <laughs> but um, I have it routed over here coming down under the seats and I have it right here unfortunately I ran out of wire um, so I originally wanted it like somewhere in this area this will do for now until I redo my interior and I make like a switch panel and all that stuff so might as well have it with all my other switches and just to prove that it works you hear that? I sure hope you can hear that. So the way I'm having these switches powered is I have a single wire going up through the dash, down through here, and then I put in an add a circuit right here. Uh, I believe that's one of the radio fuses. So now that the sprayers are wired up, really the only thing left to do is to make a bracket for the reservoirs because the 3M tape didn't really hold it together. And I have to make a bracket for my switches. But unfortunately, I ran out of time for this video. So I'm gonna be cutting it here. I mean, you guys don't wanna see any of that boring stuff anyway, right? Hopefully you can forgive me for uh, 
not really finishing the video let me know what you guys think about this mod do you really think it's going to help out and if you have this mod currently on your car did it help you save money on tires let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video